On this RV decor video, we're moving outside to talk about lighted buckets for your campsite. Now that it's getting pretty, I wanted to start doing a few outside projects. An RV bucket, we have always wanted one, but I've never made one. And so today I would share with you how we made our bucket. Well, I didn't make just one, I made three. But I wanted to give you different options. I have a Dollar Tree option that you can do and I almost think that one's my favorite. Then I just have your basic option and then I have your upgraded option. The first option and the most expensive option is the one that I am sitting on right here. It's $19 and that's for the bucket and the lid. This is a more expensive option and I know that you can get cheaper buckets. We're gonna talk about those later. It does have a lid with a cushion, so it can function as a seat as well. It doesn't have to be just your lighted bucket, but it can have a different function. People could sit on it if you needed an extra seat. That was the reason I thought about this one. And then I just used my Cricut Maker and printed out this, I put it on here and you could put your name on here. Inside that bucket, I have these lights. There's four of them and it's $19 and you get four lights and four remotes. So you could do several buckets or you could use these anywhere you want. These are waterproof and you can put them completely underwater and they will still work. So if like your bucket for some reason had a leak and filled up with water, you wouldn't get electrocuted. And it has a remote that works them and it works all the puck lights. So one remote works all four puck lights and you can put them on different colors. I liked it. It really lighted up the bucket. It was super pretty and I'm very happy with how this bucket turned out. My second bucket I got at Walmart and the lid and I want to say it was like seven dollars for the bucket and the lid at Walmart and you might could find them cheaper than that. It was just the only one that I could find that didn't have writing on them. That was probably the hardest part to find was ones that didn't have something already on them. This is the same way. I went and filmed me a stencil. I printed this out on my Cricut and put it on there. And this one has a light in it as well. Those are two options. But when I was doing this, I was like, you know, I always love on anything that I do, if I could figure out a Dollar Tree option, I'm gonna do that for y'all. And like I said, I think my Dollar Tree option, I think that I like my Dollar Tree option the best. I think it is so pretty lighted. Now, this is a garbage can from the Dollar Tree. So that's all that I got. This is a cake plate from the Dollar Tree. And I put two coats of black paint on the bottom and I did it, I did the black paint on the bottom just because I thought this was cute. Like if you wanted this to be like a side table and put your drink on this, that would definitely be an option that you could do with this. So this one could definitely be multi-purpose. And I think that's what I'm gonna do with this one. And when we're sitting out, I'm gonna put this out to be my drink holder. I'm gonna make it like an end table and it's super cute. You can get battery operated lights at the Dollar Tree. And this one here, it has magnets on the back. It is so bright. I have never, like I got, you got the push puck lights that you could use in this, but this here is so bright and it looks great. Now it is white. So whatever color your bucket is, is what color the light is gonna be. So this one ends up, it looks like it's green. And then I just printed this out off of my Cricut and put it on there. I love this one. And one thing I wanna say about all these buckets, and I'm gonna do this, when they're under the bay, you can put like anything that you normally would put out around the campsite, like maybe citronella candles or anything like that. You could store that in here and then you could snap the lid on. So these could become a multi-purpose thing. It will serve two functions rather than one. I never realized how noisy it is at our house until I tried to record out here. I hope y'all can even hear me what's all going on. So I'm sorry if uh, it's harder to hear. 
In the description box, I'm gonna link the SVG files for all three of these so that if you want to put them on your Cricut, you can. I, do, I did use the Oracle Outdoor Vinyl on these just so that it lasts longer because it obviously is gonna be outside. Now, if you don't have a Cricut and you don't wanna buy a file, this little bucket here, I just got it at the Dollar Tree. Again, it's just a plastic bucket and it's white. You can put the light in here and just sit them around your campsite and gives a great glow if your lights that are on your camper are too bright. I think this would be a great option and you could just get a few of these and lay them around. Let me know which one's your favorite. Till next time, like and subscribe.